Why didn't I know this dinner recipe before? Healthy and easy to make food for every day. Beans and coconut milk banku known in Ghana as Ayikle is the recipe for today. Welcome back. Stay and stay to enjoy this awesome healthy recipe to the fullest. uncle come to visit us today and decided to take us through a recipe very new to us. Begin to create the stove for today's recipe by digging a hole with the size of our pot. This process is so interesting. I bet you will love it. Stay connected. Grandpa comes in to help in digging the hole. We put the pot on it and begin to arrange the firewoods into it. Grandpa is always offering a helping hand in everything we do and we so love him for his selfless hard work. Much love to you Grandpa. We bring in more firewoods and begin to wash plantain leaves and introduce our ingredients.
These are the ingredients to be used for today's special recipe. Stick and stay for the surprise recipe. We have onions, garlic and ginger, habanero pepper, oil, red pepper, cabbage, goat meat, cow meat, green pepper, carrot, tomato paste, powdered pepper, mackerel, amane, tomatoes, some salt, dried coconut, beans, maize, water leaves. All ingredients are set for our recipe. Come with us as we cook together. Gampa decided to create a wooden bench under the mango tree to help visitors feel comfortable whenever they visit. Thank you, Grandpa. It's all fun here anytime we gather like this to cook. We wish to have you around one of these days to have this beautiful experience with us. Uncle explains the food he's about to cook with the children and shows them all the ingredients to be used. Do, do, have you seen how you play before? No. You don't know how you play? Have you heard it before? No. Okay. How you play? It's an oil food. They use beans and uh, roasted corn and flour to cook it. So today I will show you. Let me, let's go. Let me show you what I'll use. Come. Come. Let me show you what I'll use. Uh, we have this one. We use to cook with water meat. Okay. okay. And this one is. Beans. Okay. And this one is salt. Okay. And what about this one? This mm -hmm. one is onion. That is. Yes. And this one is mackerel. Salt. Salmon. Salmon. Yes. Okay. And this is powdered pepper. Powdered pepper. Okay. This is tomato paste. Tomato paste. Okay. This is meat. Yes. Yeah, this one is uh, mm -hmm. cow. Cow This meat. one is good. Yeah. Cow. And this one is goat meat. Goat meat. Then we have our coconut, dry coconut. Dry coconut. Then we have carrot. Green pepper. Green pepper. I'll be the better Cabbage. Onion. Red pepper. This garlic and ginger. Thank you. Come for me. Now, these are the ingredients we are going to use for today's meal. It's very interesting. Are you happy today? You have a different meal. Yes! Then let's go. Then start. This ingredient shows that today's recipe is something special. A recipe you have seen for a very long time or one you haven't seen before. Let's do this together. We set up the fire our boy brings in a pan to uncle and he puts it on fire. Mm -hmm. 
pour the maize into the pan and begin to stir. Uncle begins to crack the coconut and pour the water into a calabash. We fetch water into the calabash and tidy the compound. We bring in our coal pot and earthenware bowl and wash the earthenware bowl. Every one of us is busy putting things in place for a sumptuous recipe today. We take off the roasted corn from the fire and pour it into a calabash. Put the pan back on fire and begin to roast the second batch. We keep cracking the coconut and take the shells out.
out from it. We then put the pepper, garlic and ginger into the earthenware bowl and begin to grind. We slice onions onto it and continue grinding. Then strain the water out from the natural spices and add to the grinding ingredients and grind together. Wash the coconut into a different calabash. Put charcoal into the coal pot and the process continues. Grandpa is still on his bench creation process. Pour the beans into a calabash and pour water onto it. Our boy brings in the smaller pot. We wash it and put it on fire. Strain the water out from the beans and put it into the pot. Pour water onto it. After washing the beans several times, we put the pot on fire, pour water into it and cover to boil.
after that we wash the meats into a pot and put the grinded garlic ginger pepper natural spices onto it and put it on fire add salt and cover to boil Wash the beans again and put it into the pot containing the hot water and cover to boil. Pour the coconut water into a calabash, add small amounts of salt, put some of the roasted corn into it and begin to enjoy. Wash and put the water leaves onto the beans on fire. We do this to get the coconut milk out from the coconut. Put the tomato and pepper into the earthenware bowl and begin to grind. Now the beans begin to boil. Grandpa begins to grind the maize and it's going so well. We check the steaming meat on fire and stir.
Take the water leaves off the bees. Take the meat of the fire and put the pan on it. Pour oil into the pan. We keep our eyes on the beans, add salt, stir and leave it to keep boiling. Water to the mashed coconuts and sieve it. We pour the coconut water onto the boiling beans on fire, stir and leave it to boil for some time. into a bigger pot, put it on fire and cover to boil. We bring in the grinded roasted maize. Slice onions into the oil on fire and begin to fry the meat. Grandpa continues with the creation of the bench.
uncle creates a stick to be used to hook the pot on fire to be used to drive the coconut beans banku. Take the meat from the hot oil on fire. We are always happy to see Grandpa happily working things out. We check the boiling beans and coconut water. Stir, fetch some out and add the roasted grinded corn. Stay and begin to drive. the reserved beans and coconut water to the pot on fire and continue to dry. Add a little water and keep driving till it becomes soft enough.
a pot on fire and put oil into it. Our coconut milk beans banku is ready. We pick the earthen ware bowl and serve it into it. This looks so yummy and different. We are happy to be having a new experience on this special recipe. Coconut milk and beans bankum. I bet you would love to try this. We take the pot off the fire. Our little girls have a taste of the food already and they are so excited. We can't wait for this to be ready for consumption. We cover the food and wait patiently for the stew. Put the tomatoes into the oil, stir and cover to boil. Add the tomato paste, stir and leave it to boil. Add the mashed garlic, ginger and natural spices, stir and cover to keep boiling. Add the meat to the stew and stir. Remove the cover of the amane, wash and add to the boiling stew. the mackerel and stir together.
Our stew is now ready. We take it off the fire. We wash and begin to slice the cabbage into a calabash. followed by the bell pepper and carrots. We uncover the ayikle Ayikla is a delicacy from Volta region. It's corn flour with beans infused with coconut milk. It's a must-try recipe, so delicious. We garnish or serve the ayikla with a well-prepared soup. We put the stew onto the ayikla and garnish it with the cabbage, green pepper and carrots. Cutting this food reminds me of how I celebrated my first birthday and cut my cake. Beautifully sliced. You can find all the necessary nutrients the body needs in this food. Kindly try this process and thank me later. This is one of our first times trying this recipe and I must say, this is one of the best foods myself and the entire family has tried for the first time this year. We begin to enjoy all the happiness. Very delicious. Thank you for watching us till this end. God bless you. Did you like the recipe? Write about it in the comments. Bon appetit!
Thank you for watching. Comment and like. See you in our next video. Stay blessed. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah!